everybody, my name is Ben, and I'm doing another modification on my inexpensive home-built electric car. Winter's coming up, and plain lead-acid batteries uh, just don't do as well when they're cold. So what I'm going to do is build a battery warming tray. This will go under my batteries and just give them a little bit of heat, so when I uh, take off in my car, the batteries will be at a little bit higher temperature than they would, uh, rather than you know being at, say, 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So I've got with me some uh, half inch and three quarter inch thick plywood, some one inch thick pink foam, and some aluminum. This happens to have a kind of a decorative pattern, but it's, it's a, a, a good weight for what I'm doing here. That's going to be a heat spreader. Then I also have uh, some heat tape, which I cut the original thermostat out of. And I have a thermostat from a waterbed mattress. So basically what I'm going to do here is take the one piece of wood and then cut uh, strips of wood that'll glue down onto it with enough room for the heat tape to go between those strips of wood. And then I'm going to cover it with the aluminum. That way the heat tape heats the aluminum, which will be in direct contact with the batteries, but the weight of the batteries will go right through the aluminum onto those uh, heavy wood strips, which will protect the foam and the heat tape and the foam will go under the entire contraption. My battery box is 36 inches wide by 15 inches deep, so I've got materials that are appropriate for that size. So let's build a battery warmer. First I measured the battery box and decided that 3 quarter inch plywood would be too thick. Instead I used some nice thin hardboard. Under that's going to be a one inch pink foam insulation. This is reused from my earlier battery warming experiment. And that insulation is going under the hardboard. The hardboard is going to be the thermal break to protect the styrofoam. Half inch plywood is going to be cut into strips and go over the top of the hardboard. The heat tape is going to serpentine back and forth, back and forth between those strips of the half inch plywood. First, Cut two two-inch wide strips of the plywood to make the ends of the frame. Then cut two strips about an inch or so wide for the front and back of the frame, and then start filling in with additional one-inch strips to make a serpentine pattern on the board. Now nothing's screwed down yet. This is just to find how long the tape is and to make sure that everything is properly laid out. After that, we'll go back and screw down all the strips of wood. Use either tape or spring clamps to temporarily hold the heat tape in place. Uh, make sure you leave a little spot for the cord to come out the edge. If you uh, didn't leave a spot for it, you'll just have to cut a little bit off the end of one of the strips of plywood. And then put the aluminum on top, and then trim it to size so that it's uh, flush with the edges of the battery heater. Okay, I just reinforced screws through the corners of the aluminum into uh, the wood frame that's around it. I don't really have to worry about any uh, um, screws through the middle here because just the weight of the batteries is going to hold this down nice and solid anyways. I just have a toolbox here to simulate the batteries while running the power for a minute and it feels warm. It's not hot, it's not scalding my hands, nothing like that, just warm. And that's all I'm really looking for is just to be able to get a little bit of heat into the batteries and once they're all insulated in, just that little bit of heat should make a big difference for the electric vehicle's performance.